Hello and welcome to the Monsters, Myths, and Mayhem podcast. Today's episode is going to be about the Leon Shi. I am not Chaotic. Chaotic is our lovely other host. Different intro every time. Every time. Gotta keep you on your toes. It's fair. Have you heard of the Leon Shi? I have not. Have you heard of a muse? I have not. Not even in Greek mythology? I mean, the muse is. What is that do the they same? Do? Very similar. Okay. Interesting. Well, the Leon Shi is a Welsh Celtic fairy. She is known for her beauty and enticing creators, artists, and being their muse. The Leon she comes in many different forms, shapes, sizes, skin color, hair color. But there's one thing that she always is, is a... St they are always stunningly beautiful. What a nice trait to have. Their look is what spurs people their inspiration into making their art. Hence the question that you asked in the Discord. Yeah, I asked in the Discord if anybody would, you know, take the inspiration of a Leon Shi, but what the Leon Shi wants in exchange for this inspiration it's just a little bit of your life force. Just a little. You know, till it ends or runs out. Till you're done. But within the time of her taking your life force, you will be you will gain fame and fortune. I keep saying she, because the Leon She is primarily a female fairy, but there only there has been one instance I've seen. Recorder that it was a male Leon Shi. So I'm going to say it's possible for both, but the males are more rare. So it's not, yeah, I was going to say it's not impossible for male, but it's mostly female representing. Yes. It's probably due to the fact that back in the day when the Leon Shi was being written and talked about, uh, it was mostly male artists at the time. Artists, I keep saying artists, but yeah, creators, poets, musicians, sculptors. And back in this time, it was still kind of common for the women in these artists' lives to be blamed for them to going into depression. The Leon Shi is also very controversial in how it originated in Celtic mythology. Or some people say it was created by a author, Yates, I believe. Yeah, they say it was, okay. some say it was created by W.B. Yates during the Celtic mythology renaissance era. Like the 18, late 1800s, mid 1800s. But others say it was in the Celtic mythology just under a different name. and. Yeats just kind of pulled it back out. Because a lot of that time period from Celtic mythology was kind of lost due to invaders and other religions coming in and kind of trying to cover up or change. Right, as, as we've found to be pretty normal between all of our myths that we've been learning about, there's a lot of change and, and switch and movement between different writers, artists. Yeah. Storytellers.
Liliana, she really doesn't have any certain powers, really, besides inspiring the artist. She also... They say in many different ways she... When she's draining the life force from these artists, they always... It's always very slow. And they get more and more exhausted and more and more depressed. It could either be like a vampire sucking the energy from him through a bite on the neck or maybe a kiss, kind of like a succubus and incubus type deal. Because Leon, she, from what I've seen, kind of translate to fae or fairy lover. Like she'd be your lover when she's your muse. Oh, so you don't just get a muse, you get a whole person to, like, love? Yeah. I don't, some stories have put him, put the Leon Shi as a physical person there in your life. Some of them put them as just, like, a dreamwalker type deal where they can control your dreams and that's where they kind of influence you through your dreams when you're sleeping or to kind of suck some longe suck some life out of you through your dreams without actually having to be there which is kind of how they stay hidden they also have a different lifespan than most fey they say that they age rapidly but in order to stop them from aging and becoming old they gotta drain the life force from people. Is not why they're doing it. Oh, okay. That they're just hungry, and they like the taste of life force. Is the other side of that. Can you guess how you would stop a Leon Shi? Like stop them all together, or just like individually? I'd say an individual would be best. It's like a group. Let's say there's two ways. You can either stop them before you get, or stop them after. I maybe like. Stop using them as a muse? Mm, not quite. Uh, find a different muse? It's close. What is it? Well, they say when the Leon she offers her love to you for being a muse and being with you, if you refuse her, she then becomes your slave instead. Ah, uh, but the resistance is difficult because they made them so pretty and, like, majestic and, and like... Obviously, they're good enough and amazing enough to be a whole muse, so it would be very difficult to reject. Yes, very difficult, which is another kind of part of the question I was kind of asking you guys in Discord. So, me, everybody else would pretty much, everybody said no, they wouldn't take the Leon Shi as their muse, besides Loki. So, technically, everybody would have the Leon Shi as their slave instead. Which I don't know if you still gain the power of the muse through that. Like it's some sort of Sandman situation. I mean, I would think so still. And the rarer, rarer way to kind of get rid of the Leon Shi after you've already accepted her as your muse is to, for you to actually fall in love with another woman. Oh. Or you can just kind of trade her to another artist. Like, look, he needs help more than me. This kind of messed up, like Pokemon cards. <laughs> You're just sitting there drawing it. Like, oh, I feel really weak. Hey, you want to go over the that guy? <laughs> Imagine. He's younger than me. He's got more life force. That would be a good way to do it. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much all I got for it. For her. She is a fey spirit. Not a spirit, but a fey, a fairy. Some of her imaging as her with wings as well. I don't have a good transition to go to the media, so <laughs> that's where I'm at now. If you're ready for media, <laughs> media bum bum bum. With the media, like most mythical creatures, the Leon Shi is in video games books, anime, TV shows, music. There is a 
Leon Shi's song by the unkindness of the Ravens. There, it's also seen in Devil May Cry 3 Dante's Awakening, which is a video game. The Persona and Devil Summoner series, Megumi Tensei, and in the anime Ancient Magus Bride, which is also a very good anime. Interesting. I still recommend it if you like Celtic myths and such, because it's got like the Banshee in it, Leon Shi, Spriggins. I need to, I need to, I need to. Since this is the media section, do you think there is any artist in our era that you think have been affected by a Leon Shi? I mean, considering that the standpoints are depression and sadness, maybe like all of us. And young death. Yeah, I feel like a lot of us suffer. That. Well, another thing that they got to have is fame and wealth as well. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Is there anybody that comes to mind specifically? From what I've seen other people talking about as well, they say that like Vincent Van Gogh, he died at age 37. I could see that. John Lennon, at age 40. Hank Williams, who died at age 30. Hank Williams is also tied to other demons and devils, from what I heard. So we might touch on him later in a cryptid one. Very fancy. Tupac. I was going to ask if Tupac Shakur was on that list. Yep, age 25. Bob Marley. Bob Marley was an angel. He's age 36. And Jimi Hendrix, who passed away at age 28. I, I could see that. Most of those are musicians just because I don't actually know any famous artists because that's not really my field or writers. Music is just one of the most common medias today that people pay attention to for fame and wealth. I guess TV shows too. Leon Shi causing mayhem with every early death she takes. Speaking of mayhem, if we want to move on to the mayhem. Mayhem. Before we start into like any in-depth mayhem, the biggest thing I have to say about it is as a form of artist myself, like writing and stuff like that, there's a lot of us nowadays that would sell our souls for something like this. Wealth, fame, amuse, like it would be fantastic. It is a very tempting offer. That is definitely true. Especially because you also gain a companion. Many creators are usually by themselves. Unless they can find somebody to join them with their artwork or to be with. That was a standard thing back in the older times too. As many of the artists were, you know, by themselves as well. I feel like she would be a very dangerous entity to deal with in today's present day for so many reasons. Especially because... There could be more than one of her. Like right. The Banshee's like the... Not Banshee. <laughs> what are we doing? The Leon She is the muse for creation, creativity, media, like enjoyment. And with today's day, day, with today's day and age where... Most of the hard work and everything is automated or helped out, and a lot more people are seeking the extra little bit to be to show their creativity, the, and also try and use that as a little bit of, you know, side gig to make money or main gig to make money. We have so many more people out there now, like streaming, online art drawing, commission work, Etsy work, Fiverr, OnlyFans. So much more outreach and stuff. Yeah. I don't know. If, does OnlyFans count? I think it would count. Oh, I think any kind of sex work counts as art. Like, it's, it would definitely count. And if they get the physical body, Leon, she, they have that little extra bit of help. Like you said, the, most people in our era have that depression and anxiety as common traits with a creator or the Leon, she being their muse. It'd be a very hard fairy to avoid in this day and age. They'd probably get overworked. They may leave us before they, we make them leave. And, like, they may willingly leave before we ever have to do anything. They'll be like, this is a depressing bunch of motherfuckers. Goodbye. 
But from weaknesses and such, I don't just t saying the no to Leon, she's her weakness. And other fairy weaknesses as well, which I'm not 100% sure of. Fairy's not like iron. I'm, I'm pretty sure that is accurate, yeah. But I'm not sure why you would want to try and be a Leon Shi with an iron club or something like that. That'd be... No, no. Anything else to add make him wise chaotic? I don't think so. I just think, I feel like, you know, she's not like a... She's not like a terrasque level devastation to the world, but she could very well be super dangerous to so many people in today's generation. Especially with all the artistry and stuff that happens. I just feel like she'd be a formidable force, you know. It, it feels underplayed because the subject is so relaxed and, like, not as intense as just breaking down buildings and running around terrorizing people. But I feel like she could do some damage without us realizing. Yeah, and it doesn't, the only thing she's doing is sucking your life force away. It's not really like it's psychological damage. You're getting wealth and fame and possibly a better headset. Yeah, but all that depression and stuff comes with it and, like... yeah. And fame, wealth and fame, as everybody will tell you that's wealthy and famous, it's not always what it's cut out to be. That's true. So you never know. You know, she could be leaving, a, you know, slowly feeding off that life force really to, especially for a lot of people, a lot of artists that have families or, you know, marriage or kids or, you know, just people they're trying to take care of. A lot of people get into it to take care of their mothers, their fathers, sisters, siblings, and having that life force taken, you're taking from your family because they're not going to have you as long. So there's a lot of factors. That is true. Something I didn't think about. It's also, I just remembered as well, they say that the depression and stuff, sometimes, this is another, like, possibly, like, theorizing. The depression and stuff that the Leon she gives you only happens when she physically leaves you. Like, you lose your muse. That's when everything comes back and hits you. Like it's a super high while she's there, but then when she leaves, it pulls all that away and just leaves the super lows, which is usually how they say people end up losing the rest of their life force. Right. Guess we'll move on with our end of show notes and updates. And a thank you, as always, to everybody listening to the show, plus our patrons. Mondi, Thor, Ruby, and Nuggies. Uh, if you enjoy the show, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your dogs, tell your spider monkeys, anybody that listen, to go ahead and pop on a couple episodes and give us a try. Chaotic. Do you have any updates or news? Um, just a reminder to any DVD players playing, we do have our signups open for our February tournament. Um, the signups close December 1st, so make sure you get those in. Um, you can find them on the official Chaos by Daylight Twitter or just my page um, on Twitter or the Discord. Um, I'll post it in the podcast Discord as well, um, just so anybody has the link if there's any DVDers out there. Um, we have a community tourney and charity stream coming up on the 27th so that's the sunday after um thanksgiving and indigenous people's day so we will be um streaming and doing charity for survivors.org um you're more than welcome to stop by there and it's as always on twitch.tv slash chaotically um i feel like that's it i feel like that's all the announcements i have Alrighty, and as everybody figures out with this episode our release dates are now wednesdays which is today Yesterday, whenever your guys' Wednesdays are. Whenever you listen to this, yesterday, future, future peoples. Past people, if you have psychic abilities. If only we were that cool. And this coolest person right now is Chaotic with the outro. Join us again next Monday on Monsters, Miss, and Mayhem, found on Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and Anchor.fm. Silver and Chaotic talk about how Monsters and Myths came to be and how they would be received in modern day society. Follow, like, and subscribe to support. Also find the podcast on Twitter and Discord with the links below to keep up to date with the newest merch and activity. Besides, who knows what mayhem we will get into next. Ooh.